Hey guys, Codeboy32. In this episode, we're going to be doing a tabletop review of the Primary Arms Ultimate Weapons Light Generation 2. This bad boy is the same thing as the Gen 3, except a different bulb. Stand by. All right, this here is Codeboy32 coming at you live. <laughs> Hey guys, Coda Boy 32 in this episode. Check this out. We got a little uh, something from the Primary Arms folks. This is the Primary Arms Ultimate Weapon Light. Now, guys, this is the Gen 2. This is not the Gen 3. And the reason we're looking at the Gen 2 right now, yeah, this bad boy was on sale. <laughs> and I'll be perfectly honest with you, man. 700 lumens versus 450 lumens, <laughs> you know, I will most likely go ahead and get the uh, 700 lumen light down the road just to do a comparison between these two. But everybody knows what lumens are. Guys, not the intensity of the light is not the shot of the light, it's the volume of the light. Now one of the things that I will tell you that I like about this bad boy is the placement of the light. You have a concentrated beam and then there's an, an equal amount of light in the umbrella. In other words, it gives you a great disbursement of light at a wide angle and then you have the concentrated beam in the middle all right so with that being said let's go ahead and open this thing up now i've opened this up and I'm, everybody there's a couple of videos out there but one of the things that i wanted to show is every everybody that i uh uh after i purchased the thing i was like what did i do i put it on a rifle and i was like man this thing is a monster and it's a big light so one of the things that I found out, in, in comparison, it's, it, it looks pretty close to the, uh, this comparable in size with the Surefire M600 Ultra Scout Light. They don't issue details in size, but they do tell you what the bezel size. But uh, before we do this, we got all our measurement tools here. We got length, we're gonna give you length, size, and again, one of the reasons why is because this thing's a monster. I mean, it's a big damn light. So anyway, unpacking it comes with some, uh, just some basic information, your warranty, product length is eight and a half, eight inches, 8.9, comes comes with three CRV batteries. What else we got here? Yeah, courtesy tip, yeah, you know, please note that the mount clamping surfaces can be removed and replaced with the ARM 17 LaRue LT170 or the uh, American Defense MAD 170 quick disconnect base. All right, there's some locking screws. We'll go over that in a second. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pull this thing out. It's nicely packaged up. All right, so check our lighting levels. Make sure we're okay right there. So first of all, let's do this. I purchased a flat dark earth right here. Flat dark earth. Now I have something that's real close to flat dark earth. Now. That is not flat dark earth. It looks more close to an OD green. So the color is a little misleading. You know, not not that big an issue for me because I'm probably going to paint this thing anyway. So, but just to let you know, uh, either that was a mess up on their part because this was a closeout, or I, I don't know. So, but anyway, I'm I'm okay with the color. No big deal. All right. Now, let's go through some details here. The bezel, you can see the interior, this portion of the bezel does remove. Okay, so now we know that this, this bezel removes. Let's go ahead and get an interior dimension on the uh, bezel. Now on the M600, the uh, interior bezel diameter is one point, ooh, there's a nice little seal right there, very nice. 1.125, now this bad boy, I don't wanna give anybody a 1.45 okay a little bigger on the bezel <laughs> the uh, runtime on this thing is supposedly supposed to be about two and a half hours no there's no multiple levels it's either on or off which is kind of cool now Let's go ahead and take a look at the rear now it has two different rear functions you've got an on off button right here mm -hmm. and then you also have the tape switch adapter right here now before we go ahead and install that let's go ahead and remove this little section right here now guys one of the reasons why I'm doing a review on this is this may be the gen 2 but I've seen the photos of the gen 3 and they are damn near identical uh, if not identical there's just I think a uh, stronger uh, LED button bulb in there but this bad boy comes with three of the Streamlight uh, batteries 
do. These are the CR123A, three bolt lithiums. So we'll set those to the side right there. Uh, and so let's go ahead and go over the other details. Now, the rear portion comes off this bad boy right here. Uh, this actually separates the uh, front bezel portion. Everything is sealed with O-rings. This is T6 aluminum milled. And I'll be quite honest with you, I'm impressed that they can sell an item like this for the dollar amount that they're selling it for. It's unbelievable. I know it's made in China. So, uh, you know, so is half the other things in this entire world. Now, one, one of the items I will tell you, when I took this thing apart, they had some severe Loctite in there. So I'm probably gonna, when I took it apart right there, the O-ring kind of separated, which we'll probably go ahead and just replace that O-ring. But if you wanted to, guys, you can, now this other section right here, this will screw right into that. Yeah. So anyway, what you have, you can take these portions, put them all, <laughs> and I know we got a lot of parts and pieces here, but that's one of the things, the beauty of this thing, it is very modular. Uh, all right, so what we're doing is we're going to reduce the overall length. We're gonna take it down to a two cell battery system by removing this, the heat sink portion. And this is the heat sink portion here. This section here, you may have to use a crescent wrench or something to get it uh, apart. But anyway, let's do this. You can take this, put that directly into the mounting system. Go ahead and make sure we're not going to cross thread the bad boy. So move this stuff out of the way here real quickly. Doo -doo -doo. All right. We're going to put it in there just like that. Put you on there. Like so. And again, guys, things, the milling, the, uh, it, it's spectacular. I, I mean, seriously. Uh, and I'm not just blowing smoke. So anyway, all right, so this thing also, Primary Arms uh, provides a tape switch. Now, one of the things I am having issues with, it sometimes the, the uh, there's a round portion on the tape switch and it, and it sticks. And you, you press it and it'll stay, the, the flashlight will actually stay on. Complaint number one, okay, no big deal. You know, so what I've done is, is I've uh, taught myself just to press in the middle here. So if you can hear that. And you know, down the road when I do order this, I'll probably go ahead and do the black one so that I can put it on my other, uh, one of my other rifles. So let's go ahead and install the tape switch, just like that. And I'm gonna tell you something, it's fairly decent quality metal in this thing. Again, I've never, I haven't used it. I mean, I just got it because it was on a closeout sale. But uh, again, a great value. So let's see, I'll show you. Stand by, here we go. Let's put this right here. All right, so what we did is, is uh, essentially, we took this thing down to an overall length of about six inches uh, by taking the center portion out. Now, I don't know what the battery length is. I don't think it affects the lumens when you uh, do reduce that. But in order to bring it back to its original size, it's very simple, very easy. Just go ahead and remove the heat sink portion. Let's go ahead and dump those batteries out. Put this section back in there. And we have ourselves a full-blown badass battery system. Now, we tighten those things up. Finger tighten is pretty good. I mean, it's not going to come apart on you. Now, there is a complaint that I will discuss here in about two seconds. What I'm trying to do, guys, I shoot with a, uh, my video is being shot with a 5D Mark II. I'm also a professional photographer. There's another side of the business that I have. And that thing shoots great videos. Unfortunately, with a high aperture lens, the focus is can get out pretty quickly. All right, so now we're in the full blown thing and we've increased the size to, uh, you know, just under a seven and a half inches. So, but again, bam, 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 bam. Man, this thing's bright. Okay, so, I've got some detail shots, this thing on a rifle, so you can see what it looks like on a rifle. Now, the rifle that I forgot it on is a M4, the four and a half inch barrel, and it, it'll show you in comparison how big this thing is. It is a monster. And, and again, if, had I known that, I may have gone a different route. I'm glad, you know, it's one of those things to also, I'm glad I went the route, but I may have chosen a different way. <laughs> okay, so one of my only complaints is this uh, locking mechanism. Now, this thing will fit on any 1913 
rail system. But here's what you're going to run into. These tightening knobs right here. If you're out somewhere and you accidentally back them out too much, guess what you're getting ready to lose? All your hardware. And literally, guys, five minutes before I made this video, I pulled it off the rifle to uh, put it back in the box. The damn things fell off. I will solve that little issue by staking the end of this uh, little nut here. But it's just those little things, man. The, the pieces in the, of the puzzle that can uh, fall apart. So, real irritating that that shit's like that. So be careful. If you're out, do not back these things out too far or you could be in a position. All right, guys, that is the primary arms. This is the Gen 2, but you know, body-wise, other than the lumens, I think she's pretty close together. Let's do this. I want to do a weight test in three different ways. Okay, because I know some weight is uh, very important to some people out there. This is with the tape switch and with the batteries in place. All right, this thing's 11.2 ounces. 11.2 ounces, and that is with all three batteries and the tape switch. All right, let's go ahead and remove the extension. Throw that together. All right, so we have, without the extension and the tape, we brought it down to 9.6 ounces. Now, I, I'll be honest with you, one of the cool things that I do like with that extension, uh, a lot of times your uh, weapon's light. You actually, isn't that cool? You do want them to extend out as far as you can uh, to the end of the barrel, at least I do because I don't like the shadow that's uh, projected when, oops, put the wrong piece off. Get your ass back over here. So you have a shadow that projects off the side. Uh, and with this thing being so far forward, there, that is a, a, a good, good positive, I will say. All right, so let's put all this together. It's almost breakfast time. God, look at all that. Again, the machining, the tooling is excellent. I just, I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, that's why I'm gonna get the next one. I'm gonna get the Gen 3, because I don't have any issues with this. Again, like I said, there it is. You can see it sticking. You guys see that? Hold on. Let's see if we can get it to do it again. There. So, guys at uh, Primary Arms, if you catch that, wouldn't hurt to find another one of these things in my mailbox. Anyway, let's go over dimensions, exterior dimensions of the bezel is 1.6 inches. The uh, tube at this area here, uh, 0.8555 inches. And the permanent portion here is at 0.774 inches. So guys, I hope that I've given you all the details I can. Again, there's some detailed shots in there. Uh, this is the uh, reflective area in here is spun aluminum. It's polished. It's beautiful. And, and, and again, here's the thing. Another thing. I'm not going to go bash this thing up against the tree. Guys, uh, pretty cool little system. I wouldn't have any problems recommending this to anybody. So, all right, guys. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and mount it on the rifle just to show you in comparison what this thing looks like uh, as it sits. Now, I, I, I said before, it's a beast. So it's, it's a big light. And Let's do this when you're backing these screw bolts out or these nuts. Thumb, thumb turn screws. Now they're knurled. I forgot to mention those. That that's very nice. Don't lose them. So you just open that up all the way. I like to position mine on the last rail opening here to give it as far forward as I possibly can. Go ahead and just finger tighten those. Now I've got some inner tube rubber that I'm going to go ahead and encase the uh, tape switch. But basically that's it guys. That's how I run. That's how it goes. See, just like that, man. Very nice, very neat. Now there's some detailed images there. Guys, don't forget, uh, we've got a lot of other reviews coming up this year. This is going to be fantastic. We're kicking ass and taking names, man. High speed, low drag shit. Mostly AR stuff, but uh, anyway, go ahead and subscribe. If you got any questions on this light or the one that's coming out, please don't hesitate in asking. I'm sure we can get the answers for you. Again, this is Coda Boy 32. God bless America. And God blesses men and women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom. And freedom is not free. This is Coda Boy 32. Out.
enough of the uh, rave music.